What's up guys and welcome back to the shop. Welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator. Now I know, I know, customers have been worried. We shut our doors a week and a half ago. The phone's been ringing off the hook. What happened? Did we go out of business? Absolutely not. We were just undergoing a renovations. We've got a new expansion added on to our shop here and uh, I'm pretty stoked about this. So this cost us 10,000 credits. It's the same upgrade we've been, we've been eyeing for the past few episodes. And this is one of our newest additions here. We're gonna be able to repair mechanical parts, which is gonna help us both monetarily and just waste wise. We're not gonna instantly throw something out if it's you know worn down. We're gonna be able to fix it up and, and make, it, make it all good again. So yeah, this is the upgrade right here here cost 10,000. I also got this guy, the workbench. Eventually I want to get this, the body repair station so we can repair body panels and stuff like that, but I think we need to get some more of these first. So uh, yeah, things are uh, things are looking good. We're adding in new exciting ways for us to be able to make money and, and do our thing and uh, we've unlocked crazy new story missions. So this, this is one that I accepted. Let's take a look at what we've got going on. It's me, Johnny Johnson, remember? I visited you soon after you opened up the repair shop. I see that your business is good, and I hope I could take partial credit for it. I was very satisfied with how quickly you work, and I thought I could use you for some advertising. Okay, going back to business. I have a terrible case here for you today. I snapped it up cheap from some kid. He wasn't really aware of what he was... He didn't know he had an R34, come on, bro. Of what he was dri driving and how much it was worth. But his lack of interest in the car is pretty obvious. Please take care of the bodywork in the interior. This car definitely needs it. While you're at it, check the clutch, suspension elements. I have doubts. Okay, yeah. So this thing, I mean, this this is in rough shape. It's covered in, in sand and all kinds of stuff. Let's start off. We're going to move this thing over to our car wash. And we're going to give this thing a, a nice hose down. I think it needs it in a bad way. We're going to restore this thing from zero to hero. It's going to be fantastic. So we got we got that taken care of there. Oh my goodness, dude. I feel I feel so absolutely terrible for this thing. Look at this gorgeous R34. How do you not know the gym that you've got? This is just a disgrace. It, it is it is sad to see it in this shape, but I'm excited to see us bring this thing back to life. This is gonna be a lot of fun. So I have run all the tests that we could so far. This thing does not start, obviously. I did go through, I did like our, our scanner and electronic and stuff. We can't do a compression test or a, a fuel pressure test or anything like that. I mean, you can, you can visually see there's a lot going on here. A lot of these rollers and stuff. It does look like we've got battery, ignition, spark plugs, a lot of other parts in there. We're pretty much gonna be rebuilding the engine here. We're also gonna be rebuilding the body, dude. We're gonna have all new fenders, license plates, windows, doors, change the oil, change the brake fluid, all, all kinds of stuff like that. Okay, this, I mean, this, this is going to be, this is going to be a bit of a problem. I'm going to drain the oil first. What do you guys think? Do we start with the visuals or do we start with the mechanics? I would say maybe just go ahead and pull all the body panels off and then go into the mechanics and then add the body panels at the end. I feel like might might be our best case of doing things. We'll we'll see. Definitely going to want to drain the coolant in this thing before we forget about it and end up getting uh getting what's it called? Um fined for it. So we're going to take that out. Probably just going to take our power steering fluid out as well. Let's just let's let's make sure we cover all of our bases and and we're going to be good to go. So let me see here from the the body perspective. I mean, windows, doors, license plate, fenders, windows, side mirrors, tail lights. We're going to need we're going to need pretty much all new everything. Let me let me just start. I'm going to start ripping everything off. We're just going to completely take this thing apart. Already not a fender on this side. I mean, is there anything? We can't take anything off there. I'm going to take the right fender off. Do we want the doors gone? They want these, these body windows here behind the pillars. We're going to take the rear window off. We're going to take this guy off. Probably going to take the license plate off. Does it want the rear bumper gone? This is, this is kind of kind of crazy looks like the rear bumper's good the trunk has got to go though so we're going to take the trunk off i have never seen anything like this obviously just going to come in here and, and start pulling stuff off so this this throttle's gonna have to go this thing is in absolutely terrible shape i'm thinking you know a lot of these mechanical parts we're going to possibly be able to fix up we might even be able to be able to buy our body panel fixing and we we might end up going for um going for replacing these parts instead of just buying new. We'll see We'll see how it all works out for us. But I think in the long run, it'll help us make a lot more money. And like I said, just kind of help us be a little bit more 
ecological, economical, the, the whole nine. What are we missing here? There's a screw missing that down there. My bad. All right, go ahead and take that guy off. Obviously, our oil filter is going to have to come off, but that's going to be from underneath the car. I mean, this, this cover looks pretty terrible. The good news is when everything's bad, you can just start pulling stuff off and feel pretty confident that you got it right. So at least, at least we got that going for us today. Go ahead and pull that guy off. We're going to take the battery out. We're going to take this engine head cover off. Oof. All the screws are all rusted out and stuff too. This is uh, definitely not, not the most ideal situation. Looks like we're going to have to take a camshaft out, which means we're going to have to get the cam gear off, which means we're going to have to take the belt tensioner off, which means, oh man, this this entire thing is is coming apart. There's, there's no doubt about that. We're going to take the timing cover off. But again, like I said, the, the good news is, is it, I'm pretty sure we're going to have to take all this stuff off too. Radiator fan and everything else. Most of this stuff, we might not have the, the level for everything, but most of this stuff we're actually going to be able to take to the repair table and see if we can fix. From what I know, I, I think it's kind of like a, a bit of a mini game, which is kind of fun. Power steering pump. I'm going to pull this guy off as well. Looks like these components down, down here aren't looking too bad. We are going to have to get to this, which means we're going to have to take them all off anyway, though. So that's the unfortunate part about it. Just be smart. Make sure we get everything in one fell swoop. Don't want to, uh, you know, have to end up taking things apart, putting them back together and putting them apart and together and apart and together. Because that's, that's something we typically tend to do a pretty good job at. I'm trying to learn it to be a little bit more um, whatever you want to call it. I've got to take this stuff off, too. A little bit more... Streamlined, I guess you could say. Oh my goodness, dude. Just one long camshaft. Dude, this thing has so many fasteners, caps here, six caps along the thing. That's 12 screws. This is outrageous. Okay, last one there. I think we're going to be able to pull the camshaft. Let me see what we've got going on. Looks like everything but these have been discovered. I kind of want to... Let me get a better look at the, the wheels here. I'm hoping... We did do like the tire tread testing. I'm, I'm hoping we don't have to mess with the wheels too much. It looks like the wheels might be in good shape. Brakes and everything look good too. I'm thinking it's it's probably mostly gonna be the, uh, the what's it called? The actual engine itself. So things like an oil filter, we're obviously not gonna be able to, you know, fix that up. So that we're just gonna have to go into our car parts and, and you know, just buy buy new ones. So we're gonna be able to, uh, be able to just add that guy back really quick. So we've got that there. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit confused. We have a lot of parts that are unaccounted for. I mean, we could take a look at like maybe inside the fuse box. That looks pretty good. Go ahead and put the cover back there. I mean, exhaust doesn't look terrible. Let me try to look. Ah, looks like we've got an axle back here that needs some work. So we are gonna have some suspension work as well. Okay, not gonna get off that easy. To be honest, my biggest concern, and it's, it's looking like it might hold true. My biggest concern was inside the engine. Mm. These, yeah, these ignition coils and spark plugs and stuff aren't looking good. Okay, I, I think we're gonna have to we're gonna have to keep keep digging into this thing. I'm gonna take this ignition coil off. That spark plug looks good, but this one does does not. I don't think. Yeah, looks like we're gonna have a bunch of spark plugs, and we might even have some some interior engine issues as well, some pistons and stuff. We'll we'll see what happens. It might just be all the spark plugs. I'm gonna pull all the spark plugs just to make sure. Sometimes visually it's kind of hard to tell, so let's play it safer than sorry. See what we've got going on with that. Did that? Four more parts not discovered. Shoot. I think I think we're going to have to go deeper, dude. I think we're going to have to take manifolds off. I think we're really going to have to completely tear this thing apart. Uh, I, I don't want to, though, just in case we... Uh, let me try to look in here. Okay, pistons appear good. I'm a little bit worried. Oftentimes, underneath, like, the oil pan, that, that tends to get quite a bit of use. We also need... Where's the oil pan here? We also need to take a look at... Uh, at his description because they always give you little hints and stuff now it looks like our crankshaft is good i'm trying to diagnose everything before we start buying new parts and putting things back together because I, I don't want to get us in the spot where we typically get where it's like there's one serpentine belt that we didn't see was an issue and then we we can't get to it so we're going to take this rear drive axle off that thing is definitely rusted out same thing over here on this side so we got that now i do see 
see some rust there. Check the fuel pumps. Fuel pumps are usually pretty nasty. I mean, we're we're getting close. We're getting close. There are two two new parts that haven't been discovered. The thing is, we might be able to put all this together and then take it to the test track, and that might help us diagnose the last thing. But it's also a bit of a risk to do so. We're going to move forward somehow. Let me go see. Is there anything we're going to be able to repair here? So we've got the fuel rail, the timing cover, timing cover B shoots. So all this stuff is, is good. If it was something in the red that we could repair and put back on the car, that'd be good. I guess we could do this one time just for fun. So let me take a look at the fuel rail here. Right now it's at 70%. It's worth 111 credits. So let's say this wasn't in good shape and, and we bought a new one, put it on his car, and now we own this thing. We can go in to start repairing and we're going to want to hit that. So now that's going to take it up to an 81%. Now let me do it one more time. Now it's going to take it up to a 97%. Uh, a and then if we take a look at our inventory, the thing's worth more money now. So that way, oftentimes, you know, if it's a part that we can fix and put back on the car, or if it's a part that they don't need anymore, we can fix it and then sell it. We're going to be able to get more value out of our parts. And I think we even get XP from that as well. So he just got an upgraded fuel rail there. It's not like we actually had to do that, but uh, might as well. So we need these, um, where are the axles? Unfortunately, we don't know how to fix axles as of yet. So we're going to add two of those to our shopping list we're going to grab two rear drive axles bada bing bada boom then we're going to go ahead and add these guys right back in here just going to go through the lists i guess we're going to fix up the engine and we'll we'll see what happens i'm i'm, I'm hoping we've done enough to at least get it to start i don't want to get it to the point that we put everything back in and then we're going to have to take it all back apart again but sometimes that's just the the name of the game bring this guy on down here we're going to get back into the uh back into the engine is it going to let me drive it without all the body panels and stuff on it that's that's another question that i'm i'm not sure if we're if we're ready to answer so we're going to put this thing oh we need the new camshaft okay yeah we got to order the new parts here spark plug cell ignition coil cell spark plug cell spark plug spark plug ignition coil ignition coil sell everything that's in the red new camshaft we're going to add to our shopping list are these i'm pretty sure yeah these these are all from this car as well so i'm going to add 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 sell 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 start with the top and work our way down oh my goodness i forgot we have all these caps that we're gonna have to do okay this this is gonna be quite a job there's even a sneaky one right there that you don't really see we better not have to take this all the way back apart i'm gonna be really upset i'm i feel like i'm kind of being lazy not tearing the engine down more but i'm also like you never know like i don't want to keep taking this thing apart if we don't actually know what's wrong with it this stuff on the side right here is that bad should we be concerned about that? Honestly, I'm, I'm, we can we can pull it off and see. I'll, I'll pull it off and see. We may as well, since we've already got it open too, let's take off the fuel rail cover on the right side and see if there's anything going on, on on that side as well. Or the engine head cover, I guess it's called. Go ahead and add all these here. But yeah, we're going to take off uh, the... I'm going to say, is that a manifold on the left there? Am I getting my my names right? Let me, let me see. Exhaust manifold, yeah. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this off. I don't know what the, the things are there, all the little divots in it. Let me see. Exhaust manifolds at 68%. So it's it's good. We don't got to worry about it. It's fine. She's good to go. That's how she's supposed to look. A little bit worn in, but, you know, still still going to work just fine. The other thing I'm worried about, let's go ahead and take this, this cover off over here. You just never know. Let's take a peek under it while we have everything else off, and we can just have... A little bit of peace of mind, I guess. Take all that off. We're good to go. Okay. Might as well check it. Better to be safe than sorry. Going to put all these little spark plugs back in here. Shouldn't be too difficult. But yeah, this this is cool, dude. So obviously we've um, you know we we've we've added in this this new repair shop now, and we're obviously the the story missions are getting a lot tougher. We're you know changing up body panels and bodywork and stuff like that. Eventually, it's going to get even crazier. Like being able to you know build and tune our own cars is going to be awesome but we're going to be able to add a paint shop we're going to be able to add a uh, a tuning shop where we can you know put it on the dyno and figure out where we can get more power from it and stuff like that and it's 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 going to continue getting better and better and better so i'm i'm looking forward to that for sure we're going to throw this cam gear back on i know we have i think down here in the front right don't we have a lot of stuff we want to start adding in here 
I'm gonna add that serpentine belt A. We're gonna add the idle roller. I thought we had to, oh yeah, there, timing cover B. I was gonna say, I thought there was a second timing cover we're gonna have to do, but that's after the idle roller. Beautiful work there. Be able to add this guy. Be able to add the power steering pump. I'm really hoping we're in a good spot, dude. I, I think we are. I, I, it's amazing how much we've learned, how much, how much better we're getting here. New serpentine belt B on there. New radiator fan on there. Now, none of these serpentine belts or anything were damaged, were they? I'm, I'm trying to look at them as we go. Should probably look at them when they're in our inventory, but I think, I think we're good to go. New radiator fans on there. New coils cover A. Okay. She's pretty much put back together. So everything except for those two parts is, is good to go. Now, let me see. Did we do enough to this engine? Can I go in? I want to run our tests on it, not the OBD scanner. I want to run the compression test. So it will fire up now. So we're going to run the compression test. We're going to run the fuel pressure test. And then we're also, since it can start now, we're going to be able to take it over to the, um, the test track and we should be able to see if there's anything wrong. Nothing wrong right there. Dude, this is, I, I just, I love this. Fuel pressure test. Let's see what we've got going on. I love getting to the bottom of it. If it's like one big puzzle. One, one big experiment, one big social experiment, ex experiment gone wrong, hashtag gone, uh, other, other words I'm not going to say. Okay, here we go. Let's, uh, I'm going to add some new coolant back in. We're obviously going to have to put some oil back in. Ooh. We, we didn't, we, we tried to start that without oil. I mean, I guess technically it wasn't started, but still not, not the best idea. So we're going to be able to put some power steering back in. Should be good to go. I think I think these are the two that we drained. I do think we gotta we gotta drain the brake fluid in the back. I did see that that was looking a little bit a little bit weak back there. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let's let's grab our drain tool. We're I mean it's a little bit underneath the minimum. I'd rather just make sure he's 100% good to go. If we're gonna waste you know 10 bucks, this is the best way to waste it. Let's make sure our customers are are happy with us. So. We're gonna fill this thing up. We should make a lot of money for this. This is this is gonna be like a fifteen thousand dollar job, I would imagine, which is is kind of hype. So, be able to put some new engine oil in there. She's all lubed up, all good to go, and hopefully we're gonna be able to make some magic. Sometimes all it takes is a little bit of lubrication. Okay, let me see. I'm not sure. I mean, our wheels are back on. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's going to let us go to the test track while it doesn't have body panels and stuff on, but let's find out. Wheels are not aligned. Car may drive in an odd way. I'm going to send it. We'll see what happens. We'll be okay. Oh, she's definitely pulling to the right. Hopefully, we're an experienced enough mechanic that we're going to be able to tell what's wrong with it, even if it's not, not you know aligned properly i don't know if we have the, the ability to be able to align wheels i know we have the balancer i don't know if that's the same thing or not Ooh, hit a little bit of e-brake action just want to test that out let's try our little suspension testing there and then we're going to be able to bring this thing back around here beautiful wheel hub bearings were the issue we got it so we, 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 we just had to go down the list. We had to go through our checklist. Now we're going to be able to take a look at this. Let's highlight our wheel hub bearings. We're going to be able to see exactly which ones are, uh, are wrong. We're going to get this thing up on the list. But yeah, we brought it in. We took the body parts off, which we're going to have to add back. We got the engine fixed, which allowed us to take it outside, which allowed us to, to you know, fully, fully get a feel for it. So it looks like it's the rear wheel hub bearings. All right, we're going to have to take these guys off. It was right there. It was right in front of us. So we had to take the rear drive axle off and then the, the bearing was right there. And that's something going forward. We should probably know that if your if your axle is bad, at least just check the bearing. Most likely it's it's going to be related in some way. So we I mean, we could have seen that in the moment, but um, it's all right. Like I said, we're we're learning. So we're going to need a new front bumper. We need a new left door, right door, left door window, right door window, left fender, right fender. Let's start with that. I want to work our way down our list. I don't want to end up buying anything we don't actually need. So we're going to need the uh, ribs and starline front bumper. Is that it? That doesn't look like it. But I, okay. Yeah, I think I think that's it. So that's 427. Left door, left door window, right fender, right right door right door window right fender hood 
I think I think that's I think that's a start here. So we're gonna we're just gonna start adding we're gonna add pieces on here. So we got that there. Need to buy a license plate as well. We got the hood. We got the fender. I like this matte black. We got the new door. We're gonna be able to put the new door window on there. We need a new windshield. We're also gonna need headlights. We're gonna need side mirrors. I think we're gonna need, do we need to, to unmount the left body window, I'm pretty sure. And then we need a back window as well. We're gonna need a new trunk. Man, the, the, the matte black looks insane. Okay, we need both headlights. Left headlight, right headlight. Um, what else do we need? Oh, both both side mirrors. Only a hundred bucks for the side mirrors. That's actually, that's, that's not too bad there. So we're gonna add in some brand new side mirrors, some brand new headlights. We're gonna need a, uh, don't forget that, that, what's it called? Bam, front left door window. Beautiful. Do we need the left body windows? I'm pretty sure we need those and we need the trunk. I'm gonna grab these gorgeous tail lights here. We need the trunk. We're gonna need the body windows, eh? Left body and right body. I don't think we need the rear bumper. I think we're good to go there. So let's just keep going. Oh, we need the, the rear window as well. I like that matte black a lot. I can't wait till we can get... Oh, we don't have the rear window. Sorry. I can't wait till we can get a paint shop and we can start painting these cars and making them look really good. We've got all that there. Did we put the window in? I think we did. It's just so new and clear. We can't even can't even see it. Uh, rear window. We're going to buy this for six twenty seven. Dude, this has been absolutely ridiculous in terms of money. We almost didn't have enough money to be able to finish this. Are we done? We better be close to done. Front license plate and a windshield. I thought we already did the windshield. Did we just not put it on? Let me go ahead and add the windshield here. Dude, we have 1,200 credits left. Holy cow. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy license plate. License plate. I think there's a license plate shop. Let's get him a um what would look good here? I'm gonna I'm gonna get him a, a nice North Dakota plate. 95 credits. Beautiful. All right. Let me let me go ahead and add this front license plate here. You from North Dakota? Where are you actually from? Doesn't even have one on the rear. Okay. I think we're good. I think we did it. I think every... Ooh, rear... Oh, we need a new a, a new rear bumper. Okay. Everything else is good, though. All right. Let me, let me go ahead and take this guy off. And we're going to go back in. We got to go back to our body shop. And we're going to have to add a new rear bumper. So this thing... Uh, entire entire rebuild all all the way around every piece of it was was replenished except for like the rear quarter panels and the roof i'm gonna move you outside i want to take a look at you out in the sun see how you look look at that i mean it's it's not pretty it definitely needs a paint job which that's something we're gonna be able to add to our garage eventually as you guys know but um at least i think she's done we've we've Better have a nice payday coming here. I, I, I think, I think, ooh, rear license plate is missing. Okay. Let me go in. Gotta get him the same one, too. We said North Dakota, right? Pretty sure it has, like, the nice, yeah. Um, is there a difference between a front and rear? I don't, I don't think so. Just add another North Dakota plate there. Beautiful. Okay. You're all good to go, man. She is, uh, she's a beaut, that's for sure. Let me, let me see. Can we actually send this thing out the door? $22,000! A complete overhaul, complete rebuild. That is what I'm talking about right there. So, yeah. The office of McKenna Martin is back in business. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me see what we've got going on for our next story order. Looks like a, a BMW... Panther Mark 1 performance, repair and replace body parts, change the oil, spray it, the factory color. We're going to have to buy a new paint shop. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know that we have enough money for that. Or, or, I don't know. We'll see. I don't think we're going to take on a story mission next. I think what we're going to do, we actually have two barn find locations. We've got two barns. So I'm going to go to one of those. I think we might try to buy our own vehicle and rebuild it from the ground up. So we'll see what happens. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to see you guys later. Peace out.